hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome back to another episode of the money talk series we are on episode three if you didn't watch the previous video i am encouraging you to do so so in the first video we talked about planning with notion which is a really big part of someone who want to elevate in life and be more productive you need to plan everything and i found this app called notion that's that's the best that does the best when it comes to planning and reproductivity so in the second video we talked about budgeting financial budgeting i shared my tips and the method that i used to budget for my month and everything in between and today we are talking about saving and i know this is a video that most of people want because whenever i'm having like financial discussions with my friends we are always talking about saving like how can i save how can i build wealth and all the things in between so today i am giving you simple tips that can help you save and those tips are very beginner and friendly like if you are new to the whole saving process this tip that i want to share with you are really 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 gonna help you so without further ado let's jump into the video so as i said in the intro of this video the tips that i want to share with you are really simple and beginner friendly and in my previous video i was talking about monthly budgeting and i told you guys that the method that i use to budget is the 50 30 and 20 method where 50 covers my mandatory needs the 20 percent of my paycheck covers my wants and then i mean the 30 percent of my paycheck covers my wants and then the 20 percent of my paycheck go to the saving so in this video we're gonna talk about everything saving and i'm sharing things that i use according to my experience i'm not gonna tell you things that i saw from another video these are the things that i tried and i know they work if you want to start saving your money um the first thing that i want to tell you is that it's never too late to start saving it's never too late to start your financial uh, journey don't be discouraged that the year is about to end or the month is about to end if you're watching this video it is your sign to start saving so here are my tips so first of all you have to have a saving goal so as i always love to say it doesn't matter each part of your life you need to have a goal for everything so if you want to start saving like what are you saving are you saving uh, for a given thing you want to buy are you saving because of the future are you saving to buy a car are you saving to buy a laptop are you saving to go back to school so you have to have a goal so for me personally I save according to two goals so I have trimester goals and I have the year goal like the overall goal so for the trimester goal it's like those are the things that I want to achieve each trimester of the year like after three months of the year these are the things that I want to achieve these are the things that I want to spend my money on so when it comes to saving i do save for my trimester goals and i do save for my overall big goal which can be anything so the first tip that i'm going to share with you before you start saving you need to determine like what is the goal behind this saving that i'm going to start okay so as i said that i have like two goals when it comes to saving so as i mentioned in my previous video the 20 percent. this is how i you know divide the 20 percent of my saving so as i said like um this is how i divide the 20 percent of my saving according to my two goals so i have diff um i have a different account for my trimester goal so whenever i get paid i take the 10 percent of my saving to that one account and 10 percent of my saving to the other account so that's how i do it so the second goal which goes hand in hand with the first goal is to list all of your bank accounts and specify per the purpose for each bank account so if you want to save um for different things you cannot put that money on one account because you can end up 
using all your savings so that is why it is really crucial to have like different bank accounts if you are saving for different things so here the idea is to list down all the accounts that you have and then specify what each account is going to do so for example i have three bank accounts i have uh, the baker bank account which is for my paycheck that's where i receive my paycheck and then i have equity bank account which i use to buy things online because i don't want to put my money in danger so i use the equity bank account to do like few transactions here and there buying online paying things like that's what my it's like my everyday bank account and then i have my m bank account which is my saving bank account and for the m it is for my trimester goal saving so i'm planning to open up another account for my year goal like for my big goal so the other account that i'm gonna open up is the account that i'm gonna save money and never touch it till the year ends so that is why it is really crucial to know um the bank accounts that you have and the purpose for each because i feel like there are people that have so many accounts that they even forget about that the, that uh, they don't even use so why are you having those accounts so if you want to start your saving journey i suggest you start with the basic thing, that basic thing like look at all your bank accounts and specify what each account is going to do through uh, your financial journey so the third one is to have an action plan like an action plan when you're saving it is like the steps the third tip when it comes to saving is to have an action plan an action plan is a series of steps that you are going to use in order to achieve a given goal so if you're planning to say for example to buy a car let's say you want to buy a car at the end of the year so you need to start saving money now and you need to determine if i'm planning to buy this car that cost this amount and how much do i need to save monthly or weekly in order to achieve that goal so that's the action plan so you need to have an action plan for each savings so for example for me i have like trimester goals let me give you an example i can set a goal and say like after three months i want to buy a new laptop so it means that i have to start saving now in order for me to buy that laptop in three months so what are the things that i'm going to do in order to achieve that goal what kind of money am i going to save what kind of thing i'm going to stop spending my money on so that i can achieve that goal um how often do i need to deposit the money on my saving account in order for me to achieve that goal so that's the action plan um you uh, the action plan can be different uh, depending on the type of goal you're going for if it is something that requires you a lot of money and a lot of time for you to achieve that goal you will have a different action plan that goes hand in hand with that goal if it is something that's really small um you will have like a small action plan that goes hand in hand with that sometimes for example your action plan will require you to save money daily weekly or even it can um, ask you to save money once in a while so it all depends on the goal you're going for so it is very important if you are saving for a given goal to have an action plan so there are so many apps out there that can help you save money which is something that i learned from Morugi Moni. she's an influencer from um uh, kenya so make sure you follow her she talks a, a lot about saving and there are so many things that i learned from her so saving it's a beautiful journey and a very difficult journey at the same time so the last tip if you want to grow wealth through saving if you want to grow wealth through saving is that you have to leave your current home this is something that i had to learn the hard way because most of the time when you have your cards with you wherever you go and something that requires you to use your card to pay you're gonna pay you're not gonna think about it twice so as someone who wants to save a lot and who wants to uh, spend money according to my budget this is something that i started doing like if i'm going to work and i know i'm not gonna need my card i'm gonna leave it home so it's gonna save me spending money on things that I don't really 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 need so i uh, nowadays i take my cards whenever i know that i'm going shopping if i'm if i'm not going shopping i'm not gonna take my card if it's not an emergency i'm gonna leave my bank cards at home so i feel like when you want to save when you want to start um 
a saving um habit it's all about discipline it's all about consistency and it's all about not giving up so those are the few tips that i use to save my money um let me know in the comment section what you think um let me know in the comment section anything you can add on or remove like this is a safe space and you are free to you know share your thoughts here and there so those are the tips that i use to save my money they are beginner friendly keep exploring and trying new things i will guys let you know but so far those are the things that i use to save my money so thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for the last episode of the money talk series because this is the most amazing part of this series and i'm dropping as I love to say in each video of mine, I'm dropping a tool that I'm using to reach my financial goals. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and comment in the comment section like things you want to see on this channel. I am so happy doing this. I am so happy sharing my journey with you because I feel like my purpose in life is to use my story to inspire someone so my story is not about menstruation or the guy i'm dating my story also includes financial growth so that is why i'm doing this series just to take you along in my journey so thank you guys for tuning in i was so happy doing this one see you in another video take care bye